Wow! Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. We've got a really awesome PS2 mod tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to do the tape, straw, and tissue mod. Basically, why we want to do this is, well, let me show you how it works first and why I'm making this video right now. So, a lot of the videos on YouTube right now, they um, sort of suck in terms of the straw mod because what happened was I had modded my PS2 before and if you saw my other videos, I had one video last year or the year before where I did the tape and tissue mod where basically we had a tissue here, we had the tape here, and then if you, when you take off the cover, you would put a piece of tape on the other sensor that's underneath this, which I'll show you later on in this video. But the problem is um, the tape, it sort of gets loose over time and it sort of pisses me off. So what I did tonight was I did the tape, the tissue, and the straw mod. And all the straw mods on YouTube right now sort of suck because it's so dark. So this is my version of the tutorial, so hopefully it helps you guys. So how do we know that the straw mod is working? So let me zoom in on this camera here because all the other videos on YouTube doesn't show a very good depiction of how the straw is supposed to be inserted into the PS2. And I'll show you my trick of how I did it. So you can clearly see that there's a straw. Um, just for clarification, here's the black hinge and there's a little piece of space between the black hinge and this uh, plastic piece right here. So what you want to do is squeeze the straw into that little space. But I'll show you a, a trick that makes your life so much damn easier when you're trying to do this mod. Now Versatile, your disc is not spinning. You screwed up on the straw mod. Did I? Well, I didn't really finish it because I want to show you guys what the finished product looks like before I show you how you do everything from start to finish. So if I were to put my finger right here, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now if I had a piece of scotch tape, I could actually tape down the straw right here and then I could leave the lid open, I could leave the lid closed and my game will play with, you know, when the, when the lid is open. Now why do we want to block all three sensors? Well, it is blocking the three sensors is the very first step in allowing you to do your soft mod for free mech boot or swap magic. If you want to understand more, see my other PS2 videos, leave a question here on the YouTube page and I'll add it to the FAQ. So how do we do this mod? All right, the fun stuff. So let me turn off the PS2 here and let me disconnect it just in case and let me take out my game. The only reason I had the game here is just to show you guys that with the straw mod, the tape mod, and the tissue mod, when everything is working correctly, your game should spin with the door open. That's the only reason I have the game there. Okay, so the very first thing is pretty simple. Down here in this corner is a tissue. Actually, I should take this back. Let's go through the hardest part first. Let's go backwards. I'm going to do everything different today. Okay, so on the back of the, on the bottom of the PS2, there's a bunch of different screws I already took out. So here, here, here and then here, here, here. So take out the screws. Now, you're going to have to lift off the case. So the easiest way to do that is go this side, the big side, and sort of just pull it off like that. Now I've done this tons of times, so I'm sort of a pro at this. And here is the sensor, the third sensor or the second sensor, whatever sensor you want to call it. And, come on, focus. But basically, it's this little gray sensor right here, okay? Hopefully you guys can see it well on this camera. Okay, so what is the trick to installing the straw mod? So what I did was, I took a straw, like this, oh, Mr. Flamingo, and I cut off a portion of the straw, so about, let's say like an inch and a half, something like that, like so. And then what you do is you take the straw and sort of flat it out, takes you about, I don't know, a minute or two, depending how quickly you can flatten the straws. You know, if you're good at this, you can make a career out of flattening straws and make, you know, tons of dollars per hour. I'm sure you can. So anyways, let's pretend you already got the straw. It's already flattened, as flat as you can be. And then what I like to do, or what you should do, rather, is make a little bend. Oh, man, this straw is not flat enough. But let me just show you the proof of concept. I'm not going to waste your time or my time explaining how to do this. So, you have the straw, and then you bend it like this. Okay? So it's like an L shape, like this. And what you do, is you can see my example here. And let me open up the lid. Ta-da! So what you do here is squeeze the straw into that very little slot right here. So you want the little flat end to be pointing this way like it's showing right here, okay? And then it's going through the little slot here. So let me try to zoom in on this to make it more clear because all the other videos on YouTube sort of suck at showing this. 
So, ah, yeah, see? See how the straw is going through this little crack here? So this is, so when, when you think about it, when you close this lid, see how the straw is moving? And that's how you make that third sensor or second sensor nice and flat. So that's how the straw mod works. Now, since we're still here, what I also did was you can also, this is the one of the sensors on the lid right here. It's hard to see, but what you do is you move it to the right-hand side. And I took some scotch tape and I taped it down. And also as extra measure, what I also did was I took some scotch tape right here and I taped that black sensor down. So this portion right here, I taped that guy down, okay? And then let's go ahead and put everything back together. So that's pretty simple. Go like this, pop it back in. You know everything works right because you hear the nice snapping sound. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, open it. There's a little sensor here and I lost my piece of tissue. Ah, oh, crap. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, let me pause the video momentarily. I'll get a new piece of tissue and I'll put it in. Hold on tight, guys. All right, I'm back. So here's my piece of tissue. I just took a piece of, you know, uh, toilet paper or whatever and I just put it in this little corner. Take your screwdriver or something flat and just squeeze it down. Yeah. Squeeze it in. That's what she said. All right, so you got it in, right? And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my disc back in. You don't have to use a disc. Some guys say you could just mess with the straw mod and see this little sensor go here. But I like to do the disc because you don't want to stare in the laser. It will really mess up your eyeballs, guaranteed. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the power. And then we push the power button. Versatile, it's not spinning. Don't worry about it. So let me get my light a little bit closer and push down on this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now I get my scotch tape. And then we tape this tape, well, tape the straw down. Now, you wanna make sure you don't get the straw too long because you don't want it to scratch your disc. I had a friend one time where he did the straw mod and he really screwed up and he had a very nice circular scratch underneath all his PS1 games, PS2 games. And I said, huh, why is that? And I took a look at his mod and I realized he really, really, really foobarred the straw mod. It was hilarious and sad at the same time. So look at that. So really, if you think about it, it takes you less than 10 minutes to do this mod. You gotta take out the six screws, you do the tissue mod right here, you do the epic tape mod, and then you do the very simple um, straw mod using my method. So that is how you block the three sensors of your Slim PS2. And I actually like this method better than the tape method because when you do the tape method on this other sensor right here, it's over time it could get loose and it really screws you over. And do not, do not use super glue on that a sensor right here. It will screw, your, screw you over and your PS2 may not even turn on. So don't do it. Because if you screw that up, what you got to do is pull off that sensor and then take a piece of solder and solder the four connection points together and you don't want to fry your motherboard when you're doing that. So be very careful. And that is the tutorial in a nutshell. So you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we can get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.